there is nothing in the narrative to suggest that any women or children were killed. There is nothing in the narrative to suggest that any women or children were killed. There is no narrative whatsoever that says that anybody other than combatants were killed. So I think God had morally sufficient reasons for doing such an extraordinary uh, thing, uh, which is really unique and uh, not something to be repeated or expected in any other time or age. But not something to be repeated or expected in any other time or age. If a baby was one year old and uh, turned out to have some horrible, incurable disease that meant it was going to die in agony in, late, in later life, what about infanticide? Um, morally, I, strictly morally, I can see no objection to that at all. I would be in favor of infanticide. I would be in favor of infanticide. And I would say on an atheistic view, there is no objective purpose in life. There is no reason for which we exist. Death marks the end of all the life we will ever know. And indeed, the entire universe is doomed to destruction in the heat death of the universe. There will be no light. There will be no heat. There will be no life. Just the endless carcasses of dead stars and galaxies expanding into the infinite blackness. So that on an atheistic view, there is no purpose, there is no objective meaning, and there are no moral values. Love is merely an electrochemical reaction in the brain of uh, 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 our nervous system. Richard Dawkins has said something uh, like this. Dawkins says, we are possibly the only planet in the universe in which complex chunks of matter run, pursue others, prey upon others, and some have even become so complex as to think, feel, and fall in love with other complex chunks of matter. <laughs> That's all love is on, a, on an atheistic view, just an electrochemical reaction determined by the brain. It has no moral or ethical significance at all. When you make a value judgment, don't you immediately step yourself outside of this evolutionary process and say, there, there is, the reason this is good is because it's good, and you don't well, have any um, way to stand on that but, statement. But my value judgment itself could come from my evolutionary past, and I suppose... So therefore, it's, it's just as random, in a sense, as any product of evolution. Well, you could, you could say that, uh, but it, it doesn't in any case, nothing about it uh, makes it more probable that there is anything supernatural. Okay, but, but ultimately, your belief that rape is wrong 
is as arbitrary as the fact that we've evolved five fingers rather than six. I, I mean, uh, you that, could that, say that. Yeah. Yeah. 